Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 25346, which is released to the Canary Channel. For this build, Microsoft is releasing ISOs. As a reminder, builds released to the Canary Channel are hot off the presses, Microsoft will offer limited documentation for builds flight into the Canary Channel, no known issues for example. Also, will not publish a blog post for every flight, only when new features are available in a build. Now starting with this build, and talking about what's new in this build, we're getting Content Adaptive Brightness Control CABC, unplugged in devices, including desktop PCs. This feature in Windows 11 will dim or brighten areas of a display or a monitor based on the content being displayed, with the goal of striking a balance between reduced power consumption with visual experience to save battery life. Starting with this build, Microsoft is allowing this feature to run on devices such as laptops and two-in-ones that are plugged into a charger. For most users, this change won't be noticeable and should reduce energy consumption. This feature can be adjusted via settings, system, display under brightness and color and through a drop-down menu with three options, off, always, and on battery only. Moving forward, and talking about the changes and improvements, for remote desktop, redesign the connection bar for remote desktop sessions to a new refreshed light and dark mode design, that aligns with our Windows 11 design principles. Also, when sharing a local file in File Explorer to Outlook contacts, you will now see the option to quickly email the file to yourself. In addition, Microsoft made improvements in loading your contacts from Outlook. This capability is not available for files stored in OneDrive folders as OneDrive has its own share experience. For Taskbar and System Tray, Microsoft added the option to diagnose network problems, when right-clicking on the network icon in the System Tray. For Settings, Microsoft is introducing new Presence Sensor Privacy Settings and APIs. If you have a device with compatible Presence Sensors, you can now manage your privacy and block or allow certain apps from accessing these sensors. No images or metadata is collected by Microsoft and all processing is done locally on the device hardware to maximize privacy. You will find these settings under Settings, Privacy and Security, Presence Sensing here if your device supports it. App developers with devices with compatible presence sensors can target apps to request and read user presence information after requesting a human presence capability. For Windows security, after fixing some issues based off insider feedback, Microsoft is reintroducing the updated Windows security, firewall, notification dialogues that match the Windows 11 visuals. For narrator, narrator users who interact with traditional Chinese characters are now able to do this with confidence while using narrator in the email candidate window in Windows. This was accomplished by creating a traditional Chinese dictionary for detail reading. Narrator now consumes the dictionary to disambiguate each traditional Chinese word. Users should be aware that narrator detailed reading is only supported for the Taiwan language pack. The Hong Kong language pack is not supported with narrator. Lastly, for graphics, it's now easier to configure the state of HDR when running on battery. Simply go to Settings, System, Display, HDR, and choose whether you want HDR, or HDR video streaming, to remain turned on when your PC is running on battery. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.